Well, welcome to class. I'm glad that you have um, all joined me today. We'll just start off by laying down on the mat. And if it's not comfortable to lay all the way down, you don't have to. Or if you've got a pillow to put underneath the knees or a blanket under your head, just make yourself comfortable. I like to use my upper arms to press down onto the floor so that you can lift your chest and let the shoulder blades tuck underneath you. That'll create some more space between your shoulders and your ears. You can rest your arms down alongside you. Maybe it feels good to have your palms facing up. And then take a deep breath in and a deep exhale. And just notice how your body feels. You may need to lengthen your tailbone down a little further or even place your feet down flat on the ground so that your low back has less pressure on it. Just make sure you feel comfortable so that you can relax and feel completely supported by the mat or whatever you might be on. You can let your eyes fall shut or you can gaze down the cheekbones or down the nose, giving yourself an opportunity to go inside right now. Taking this chance to check in with yourself. Noticing what your own internal weather system is right now. Any uncertainty or fear, or just feeling that from the rest of the world now. Notice what it is that you feel. And maybe even noticing where you experience it in the body. Where do you feel it? Maybe checking in with your thoughts. What's in your mind right now? Not judging what you've noticed, but what's there? And what do you feel physically in your body? As you scan down through the body, are there areas that feel tense? And could you use an exhale to help dissolve a little bit of the tension? And then draw your attention maybe to a word or a phrase that would support you right now. What is it that you need? I am courageous. I am whole. I am safe. Whatever resonates with you, let that be the guide for your practice today. And draw your attention back to your breath. Taking a deep breath in, let your belly expand. And a deep exhale as you let the belly relax and all the air press out. Take a deep breath in, let the belly expand. A deep exhale as you let go. Take a deep breath in, let the belly expand, and then maybe the rib cage expands as well. A deep exhale as you let all that breath go. 
Again, breath, breathing in, expand the belly, expand the chest. Letting go of tension as you exhale, let the body rest. Take a deep breath in, expand the belly, expand the rib cage and maybe expanding the upper chest. A deep exhale as you let all that breath go. Once more, deep breath in, expand the belly, expand the rib cage, expand the chest. A deep exhale as you let all that breath go. Extend your arms up overhead and have a big stretch. Get yourself nice and long. Fingertips to the back of the room, your toes to the front, reaching in opposite directions. And rest your arms down alongside you and bend up your knees, letting your feet come down flat on the floor. Focusing in on the pelvis, let the pelvis begin to rock back and forth, feeling the small, a little arch get created in the small of your back as the pelvis tilts down and then let the pelvis, the low back press down as the pelvis tilts towards your head. And as you're rocking, maybe notice how far up your spine you feel the rocking. Maybe you feel it all the way up to the head. No need to force it. Just kind of notice where you feel it. And then pause. Let everything rest again. Let the pelvis get heavy. Bring the soles of your feet together. Create a diamond with your legs. Letting the legs open up to the side. You could place your hands on your belly, one on your heart and one on your belly, or just leave the arms alongside you. Now let gravity pull your knees open. Seeing if you can let some of the muscles rest and relax while gravity pulls the knees open. And then you can use your hands to bring your legs together and we'll walk the feet out to the edges of the mat, reaching your arms out to the side to anchor yourself down and then just gently let the legs windshield wiper from side to side. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose as you let the knees go one side to the other side. And then pause when you get back into the center. Let the knees knock together. Let everything rest for a moment. The low back rest. Noticing what sensations you feel from that movement. And walk your feet together. And bring your knees in towards your chest. And give yourself a hug. Maybe you place your hands behind the thighs or you could grab a towel or a belt or something to Find the legs to help you hug them in in a way that feels good for you. And then circle the thigh bones around in the sockets. Letting them circle around, inhaling and exhaling through the nose. And circle the other way. And you can let both knees go the same way or opposite like I am, whatever's best for you. And then pause back in the center. Hug the knees back into the chest. And then roll over onto your right side. And you could use your arm as a pillow, or you could grab a blanket or a pillow and put it underneath your head. Bend your legs up so they're at a 90 degree angle. And your feet are away from the buttocks, just underneath the knees, kind of parallel to your mat or towel, wherever you're laying. Take your left arm, that top arm, and draw a large circle. Noticing how the shoulder feels as you circle around. And just taking a pace that feels good for you and making the movement as big or as small as you need to. And then pause and circle the other way. Breathing in and out through the nose and creating the circular motion through 
the joint, creating some space there for the synovial fluid to come in. And then let your arm rest down alongside you and just pause there for a moment. Everything rest. We'll take the leg in a circular motion, bringing the left knee or that top leg into the chest. Extend the leg out long, circle it around behind you, and then bend your heel into the buttocks, bringing the knee back into your chest. And circling around in a way that feels good for you. Breathing in and out through the nose. Again, creating space in the joint for the synovial fluid to help release some of the stiffness maybe that we feel. And then reverse that. Heel into the buttocks, extend it back behind, but you're just making it as big or as small as feels good to you. Breathing in and out through the nose. And let that leg pause and just rest down on the mat again. Let everything rest. We'll take your left hand or the top hand back behind your head and take a deep breath in. As you exhale, roll your head and elbow down toward the ground. As you inhale, open up, rolling all the way back as far as feels good to you, maybe until the left shoulder touches the floor. But you're in control of how far. Inhale up and exhale down. Use your breath to help you as you gently open up and close back up. Breathing in and out through the nose. Letting this feel good for you. Take your time finishing up this last one. Pausing back on your side, let your arm rest back down alongside you and just pause for a moment. Use your top hand to help you press up and we'll switch over to the other side. Maybe using your arm or a pillow or blanket as a, a support for your head, whatever feels best. Bending up your knees in a way that feels comfortable for you. And then take that top arm and draw a large circle. Breathing in and out through the nose as you circle the arm around in a way that feels good for your shoulder. And pause and circle the other direction. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose as you circle around. Let that arm rest back down alongside you and just pause. And we'll cycle the top leg, bring the knee in towards your chest, extend that leg out long and circle around, heel to the buttocks, knee into the chest and draw the circle. And again. And then reverse that. Creating space in the joint for the synovial fluid to come in, keeping everything fluid. Letting go of some of the stiffness that we feel gets created in our body. And then relax that leg down. I'm tapping into the water-like components of our body. Take your right hand back behind your head or the top hand behind your head. Take a breath in. As you exhale, bring your forehead and elbow to the floor. As you inhale, open up, rolling back as much as feels good to you, maybe till that shoulder comes to the floor. Inhaling up and exhaling down. Inhaling up and exhaling back behind you. Breathing in and out through the nose. this feel good for you and even noticing how it does feel. Taking your time finishing up this one. Pausing back on your side, relax your arm down. And just take note of what you feel, what sensations are there.
Use your top hand to press yourself off the floor. Coming up to a seated position, and you can always grab a blanket or a pillow or something to put underneath your hips so that it's a little more comfortable for you, a little easier to keep your spine nice and tall. So you find a place that feels okay for you. You can always sit in a chair as well if it doesn't feel good to be on the floor. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, drop your chin to your chest. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, roll your head over to one side. Let the ear drop to the shoulder. The shoulders relax down. Take a breath in. Exhale, roll your head through the center over to the second side. Letting the ear drop down toward the shoulder. Take a breath in. Exhale, roll your head through the center, and if it feels good, draw a circle with your neck. And if it doesn't, you can look right and left or up and down. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose as you circle around. Pause and circle the other direction. Breathing in and out through the nose. You make the circle as big or as small as feels good to you. Letting go of some of the tension, some of that stale energy. And pause back in the center, lengthen through the crown of the head. Let's switch the cross of the feet. Let the other foot come in the front. As you inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Exhale, bring your hands down to heart center. Inhale, reach arms up overhead. Exhale, the hands down through heart center. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hands through heart center. Again, inhale, reach. And exhale, the hands down. Inhale, reach. Arms go up overhead. Exhale, a gentle twist to the side, this time as you come down. Inhale, reach. Arms up overhead. Exhale, twist to the other side. Inhale, reach. Exhale, twist. Inhale, reach. Exhale, twist. Inhale, reach. Arms up overhead. Exhale, your hands right down through the center. And then let's make our way onto all fours. With your knees underneath your hips, the wrists underneath the shoulders, pressing down through the tops of the feet. On the inhale, lift your chin up and your tailbone up. And on your exhale, round through the spine. Gently making your way back and forth, moving with your breath. Inhaling on the way up. Exhaling as you round. Inhaling up. Exhaling as you round. Once more, inhaling up. Exhaling as you round. Pausing back on all fours, walk your wrist forward an inch or two and begin to circle yourself around. And the movement can be forward and back if circling doesn't feel good. But if it does circle, make it big or small, fast or slow, maybe the head circles, just let it feel good in your body. Pause and circle the other direction. Again, that circular movement through the wrist, the shoulders, your hips, the knees, creating space for synovial fluid to come in. Pause back on all fours. Walk your wrists back so that they're underneath your shoulders. Curl your toes and lift your hips up to down dog. Pedal your knees back and forth for down dog. Keeping your fingers spread out wide, press into the hands and not just into the wrist. Use the muscles of the hands. Keep your feet at least six inches apart. Letting one heel sink down and then the other and then let both of your heels, your legs, settle in. And bend your knees a little bit and then press your chest towards your toes. Get a little longer through the spine. Deep breath in. And a deep exhale. Then walk your hands back to your feet, ragdolling at the back of the mat. Shake your head, shake your shoulders. You can grab opposite biceps. Bend the knees as much as you need to so that there's no pressure in your low back. Maybe swaying side to side. Breathing in and out through the nose. And 
Bring your hands to your legs. Inhale, half lift. Get your back really flat. Exhale, fold forward. And then inhale all the way up. Long, flat back brings you up. Exhale, your hands to heart center. Let your feet separate so they're about six inches apart and that they're parallel to each other. You can notice if that feels weird to you, but see if you can line them up so that they're parallel with each other. And then lift your toes up and we'll find the four corners of your feet. Big toe mound presses down, little pinky toe mound, and both sides of the heels. And then see if you can push your big toe down, but leave the other four toes up. And then switch that. The other four go down and big toes stay up. <laughs> and then try pushing the big toe down and the pinky toe down and <laughs> leaving the three middle ones up. Maybe you can even play around with those middle ones and get those to lay down one at a time maybe. <laughs> Spreading your toes out as they lay back down on the mat. So feel your feet rooting down into the mat, lifting up on the arches of the feet. And you can always play around with that when you're, and you're in a seated position or in a chair or something and you can help the toes with your hands and then see if the muscles can do the work. Imagine you're trying to pull the mat apart with both legs, both of your legs pulling away from each other, but then push back down through the feet. Notice if the arches are still lifted or if you started to roll to the outsides of the feet, still feel the feet pressing down all four corners, strengthen through the legs as you lengthen up through the crown of the head, finding your pelvis, making sure your pelvis is level, filling up, slight pull into the belly button, tailbone lengthening down, and then draw your arms out um, alongside you with the palms facing forward, and lift your chest up toward the heavens, feeling like you've got a string from the tip of your head pulling you all the way up, nice and tall in your mountain pose. Take a breath in and a deep exhale. Again, deep breath in, and a deep exhale. And then reach your arms up overhead, noticing the shoulders, if they went into your ears, pull them back down your back, extend through the arms, and then shift the weight forward into your toes, pressing down through the big toes, lift yourself up off the mat, and then go slow as you bring yourself back down. Going again, press down through the big toes, lift yourself up, and then slowly lowering back down. And again, press down through the big toes, lift yourself up, and gently lower yourself back down. You can release your arms right down alongside you. Roll the shoulders back, and roll the shoulders forward. Good, taking warrior one, I'll do it from the front view first. Keep your right foot right foot forward, take your left foot back behind you. So on a tight rope, this would be in tight, and I want you to step the back foot away so it's more like you're on um, railroad tracks. You've got space between your thighs so that you can bring the left hip back and the right hip forward. Noticing the direction of this front knee, for a lot of us, it's pretty easy for that to fold in. So push the knee open toward the pinky side toe of your foot so the knee is on top of the ankle. And I'll turn sideways here for you. No, which way is easier for the right foot to be forward. Pull the shoulders back and let your palms face out, or it may feel like they're facing forward to you, but not turned backwards. That rolls the shoulders in. We want to roll the shoulders open so that the chest is open, shoulder blades are squeezing together. I am strong. Take a deep breath in and a deep exhale. Seeing if you can find the four corners of your feet in this position. Can you feel them pressing down onto the mat? Deep breath in and a deep exhale. Inhale, reaching your arms up overhead. And then exhale, reach your arms out wide to the side. I'm going to, we'll switch directions here. That ought to be really confusing. Out wide to the side. So as your right leg that's forward, you should still have your right leg forward. You can take your eye gaze past your fingertips toward the front of the room for warrior two, I am brave. Take a deep breath in and a deep exhale. And then squeeze your front leg tight so both legs are straight and strong. And then lengthen over your right leg, bringing your right hand down so it's in the front of your right leg, left hand on your waist. Spin your heart open toward the ceiling. Take a deep breath in 
and a deep exhale. Again, take a deep breath in and a deep exhale. And then bend the knee, reaching your arms out to the side, turn your foot in so both feet are parallel to each other. Soften the shoulders away from your ears and then hinge yourself forward, flat back and straight legs. Let your hands rest anywhere on your legs that helps you to keep your back flat. Shift the weight forward so you feel it even between the balls of the feet and the heels. And then just breathe into the back of the legs. Let the muscles start to open up. With your neck, imagine that you have a grapefruit underneath your chin so that your neck stays nice and long, just a natural extension. Deep breath in and a deep exhale. Bring your hands to your waist, pull your belly button in and come all the way up with the flat back. And then turn your toes out and your heels in for goddess pose. Squatting down in between the legs. You can bring the arms up parallel, making a 90 degree angle at your elbows. Squeeze the shoulder blades together and then round in, bring the forearms together. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Fill the knees, pressing back toward the back side of the body. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Again, inhale, open. Exhale, round. Release your arms down. Press yourself back up. We'll walk the feet together. And then we'll take the left side. So keeping your left foot forward this time for warrior one. Making sure you've got space between your legs. Pull the left hip back, right hip forward. And let your left knee track the same direction as your toes. If you find that it's folding in, push it open toward the pinky side toe of the foot. And then reach your arms out to the side. Roll the shoulders down and back, palms facing toward the front. Feel that your chest is open. Deep breath in. And a deep exhale. Again, deep breath in. Deep exhale. Inhale your arms up overhead. I am strong. Deep exhale as you open up wide for warrior two on this side. You can wiggle that stance out a little bit. Back toes are turned in just a little bit in front of the heel. Bend the front knee. Let the shoulders line up right on top of the hips and then take your eye gaze past your fingertips toward the front of the room. I am brave. Deep breath in and a deep exhale. Squeeze your front leg up tight and then lengthen forward over the left leg for triangle. Left hand comes down, palm facing forward. Right hand to the waist as you spin the heart open toward the ceiling. Take a breath in and a deep exhale. Eye gaze could go up. You could look down or straight ahead, whatever feels best on your neck. Deep breath in and a deep exhale. Bend that front knee and bring yourself back up to standing with the feet parallel to one another and then make a fist behind you. Interlace the hands. Open up your chest and take a breath in. And then as you exhale, hinge forward. A long, flat back brings you forward. Notice where the weight is in your feet. Shift it so you feel it even in the balls of the feet and the heels, keeping your spine long. And then just notice your chin. Are you lifting it up too high? Are you tucking it down too much? See if you can find the middle where it's like you're holding a grapefruit underneath your chin. Your neck's nice and long, natural extension of the spine. Take a deep breath in and a deep exhale. And bring your hands to your waist and bring yourself all the way back to standing. We'll heel toe the feet back together. Staying forward on your mat, take your, uh, reach your arms up overhead and we'll swing the right arm underneath the left, crossing at the elbows for eagle. You can grab your shoulders. You could press the back of the hands together you could also bring um, the hand closest to your face, wrap it around one more time so the palms are together. But you choose what feels best to you. You can stay here or squat. You can stay here or take your, uh, cross it this way, sorry, right ankle across. You can stay there or take your uh, right knee across. If you take it across, hug it in or maybe hook it around behind. Sit tall, 
breathing in and out through the nose in this eagle position. Then lift your elbows up, letting your triceps come parallel to the ground, feel a little different stretch in the shoulders. Breathing in and out through the nose. As you release, reach your arms overhead and see if you can extend your leg straight out in front of you. It's okay if it takes a couple of tries. You could bring your heel to the ground. If it doesn't feel good to have it lifted, it could lift a little bit or it can lift a lot. Whatever's best for you. And then send it back behind you. Maybe the toes come on the ground. Bring your arms down beside you with the palms facing forward with the shoulders rolling down your back. You could stay here or begin to lift that leg up off the ground. As you continue to drive the thigh up toward the ceiling, it'll bring your upper body down, but be careful not to just bend the upper body down. Feel the back bend, squeeze the shoulder blades, drive that leg up toward the ceiling, and then just challenge your balance wherever's best for you. And you can come right back to standing. Release the leg down, walk it out, shake it out, and then we'll switch. Taking your left foot, uh, actually arms up overhead, swing your left arm under the right, cross at the elbows, you can grab shoulders, you can press the back of the hands together, or continue to wrap if that feels good. But keep the elbows crossed, it's easy to uncross them and try to do this, but it's best if the elbows are crossed. Squat down, best meaning we're getting the stretch we're looking for. You can take your left leg across, maybe crossing at the ankle or at the knee. Hug that foot in, maybe wrap it around if that feels good. Sitting up nice and tall, breathing in and out through the nose in your eagle. Lift the elbows, triceps come parallel to the ground, gazing into the back of the arms for balance. As you release, reach your arms overhead, extend that leg out in front of you. Maybe the heel's on the ground, maybe you lift it a little, or maybe you lift it a lot. And then send that leg back behind you. Maybe the toes are on the ground to start with. Bring the arms down beside you, palms facing forward. You could stay there, continue to lift the leg, but feel the back bend. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Body's only coming forward because the leg's lifting higher. You've got a straight line from your head to your heel. Finding that place that works for you. And then come right back to standing and release. Maybe walk it out a little bit. Shake it out. <laughs> nice work. We'll take tree pose on the right side first. So turning your right knee out to the side. Toes can stay on the floor. Or you could pick that foot up high or low, above or below the knee, and bring your hands to heart center. Hands could stay here, or you could reach your branches upward if that feels good for you. Rolling the shoulders down, pulling them down away from the ears. Opening yourself up to receive. I am open. Take a deep breath then, and a deep exhale. Bring your hands to heart center and bring the right knee in and down. Switch over to the other side, turning the left knee out to the side. Toes can be on the ground or you can pick that foot up. Hands can stay at your heart. You could reach your branches upward. Whatever feels the very best to you. Deep breath in. And a deep exhale. Again, a deep breath in. And a deep exhale. I am connected. Bring your hands back to your heart. And bring that knee in and down. Take a nice deep breath in. Arms go up overhead. Exhale, fold forward. A long, flat back brings you down. Inhale, half lift. Flatten out your back. Exhale, hands to the mat. Walk your feet back to plank. You can stay on your toes or bring your knees down right away. Squeeze your thighs up tight if you're on your toes, driving your thighs up toward the ceiling. Pull your shoulders down your back, let your heart lengthen forward. And then bring your knees to the mat. Go slow, lower yourself down and see if you can get your belly and your chest to touch the floor at the same time. Just the best you can. Once you're there, find Sphinx pose. Elbows underneath the shoulders. Noticing if the elbows are back too far. Bring them forward so that they're underneath the shoulders. If you're feeling pressure in your low back, 
pull your belly button in, see if you can lengthen your tailbone down. And if you're still feeling pressure, walk your elbows more forward. So there's a little less angle on the low back. So you choose what feels best to you. And then notice where your shoulders are. Press through the forearms so that the shoulders are away from the ears. Take your eye gaze down your cheekbones. And just breathe in and out through the nose. Using your breath to dissolve any tension in your low back. Imagining fresh oxygenated blood coming into the kidneys, into the adrenal glands that have probably been working a little over time with stress. See if you can just let those relax a little. And then gently lower yourself down, stack the palms. Let your forehead rest on the back of the hands, wiggle the hips, and then just surrender to the floor, let go. Press yourself back into Sphinx Pose. Pressing down through the forearms again, find that nice alignment. And then peel your belly button off the mat. And pausing there just with the belly button lifted, feeling your low back nice and full. You can stay there or maybe you peel the hip points up, feeling the tailbone lengthen down toward the floor even further. Maybe you press through the tops of the feet and lift even the knees up off the mat, but you choose, or maybe the knees are down and the thighs are up. Any of those positions will work, feeling that strong connection, belly button into the spine as you work the deep core muscles. And then go slow, bringing your belly button back down to the mat, lengthening through the crown of the head. Stack your palms, let your forehead rest, wiggle the hips, and then just surrender, let go. Bring your hands underneath your chest, pull your belly button in, and then press yourself off the mat and into child's pose. Big toes are together. Your knees can be together or separated. Start to push the hips back. If you need to put something in between the thigh, the knee, back behind the knee, you can. If you need to put something under your knees to protect, then grab a blanket or a pillow. Bringing your forehead down, maybe you stack your palms and put your forehead there your fist or maybe your palms. Or maybe you let your forehead rest on the floor or on a pillow and bring your hands beside you. Find something that feels good for your low back particularly, but maybe you feel it in the knees or the ankles the most. So honor yourself, whatever you need. And gently round yourself up. And we'll curl the toes under, spreading your toes out as much as you can. And then just gently walk yourself back towards your heels. And it might feel, this might be enough, and you just pause here. If you want a little more sensation, you could come up a little bit, or maybe you sit all the way back on your heels. But find something that's doable for you, and then just breathe into that. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Opening up through the arches of the feet, opening up through the toes. Give me quite a bit of sensation, so honor yourself. And then bring yourself forward onto your hands. Turn the toes under. It might feel good to wiggle the heels or pat the feet, whatever feels best to you. Just let it feel good. 
And we'll make our way into a seated position. Extending the legs straight out in front of you, we'll take staff pose before we come down on the mat. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders and lengthen up through the crown of the head. If this, if the hamstrings are really tight, it'll probably look a little more like this. So if that's the case, bend the knees and then use your hands to help you sit tall. And if that still doesn't help quite enough, you could prop your hips up on something to help you sit up a little taller, like a pillow or a blanket. But this is a perfectly fine position to be in, lengthening up through the crown of the head, nice and tall, deep breath in, and a deep exhale. If your legs are straight, bend them up. Let your feet come down flat on the floor. Use the sides of your legs to help you roll down, laying your vertebrae down one at a time as you come all the way down to the mat. And then just pausing down there on the floor. Let everything settle in for just a moment. Deep breath in and a deep exhale. Then take your right ankle to the outside of the left knee, flexing the toes back. You might find that this is a stretch and you can just, uh, enough for you and you can stay here. If you need a little bit more, you could put your foot on a block or something to lift it a little bit. If you would like, you could also grab a strap and place it behind the left leg to help you pull it in or your hands if you can reach behind there easily. If you find that you're having to hold your head up or it's putting stress in the upper body, then maybe just put the foot back down but if it's okay for you to interlace your fingers behind the leg, you can do that, hugging the knee in toward the chest. Flex your right toes back toward the knee, breathing in and out through the nose. Deep breath in and a deep exhale. Let your tailbone reach toward the floor. Let your shoulders reach down toward the floor. Deep breath in, a deep exhale. And take that whole shape over to the left just a little bit, finding a little different spot. Deep breath in, a deep exhale. And then gently release and we'll switch legs. Take your left ankle to the outside of the right knee. And again, your foot could stay down flat on the ground. Letting the left knee press forward may be enough sensation or maybe putting the foot on something, or maybe hugging in. And you can always wrap something around this right leg to help pull it in. Flex the left toes back toward the knee. Pull the shoulders toward the floor. And just breathe into your left hip. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Deep breath in. A deep exhale. And take that whole shape over to the right just a little bit. See if you find a little different stretch. Letting your tailbone reach toward the floor, the shoulders pull toward the floor. Breathing into your left hip. Deep breath in, a deep exhale. Keep your left foot where it is. Let your right foot come down on the ground. Reach your arms out to the side with the palms facing down and then take this whole shape and let it lay on its side. Right leg lays on its side, left foot's flat on the ground. Let the left knee push forward. If this is too intense, you could prop, put a pillow or something underneath your leg. If the leg doesn't wanna lay all the way down, also put something underneath the leg. But if you're okay, foot's laying down flat, you could keep your nose toward the ceiling or you could turn to look over your left arm. Finding a little, a gentle stretch is what we're looking for. And so you have to pay attention to if this is gentle enough in your body or not. And if it's not, make the adjustment you need to so that your body can rest, the muscles can rest. Deep breath in. A deep exhale. And press down through your foot. Bring that shape back up to the center and release the left leg. And then take your right ankle to the outside of the left knee, flexing the toes back. Do the same thing. Let that whole shape fall over to the left side if it feels good. And feel free to use something underneath the leg if you need to. Right foot's flat on the ground, letting the right knee push toward the end of your mat. Nose could be toward the ceiling or it could gaze past your right shoulder. 
deep breath in and a deep exhale. Again, take a deep breath in and a deep exhale. And press down through your left foot, bring that shape back up to the center, release the right leg down. Extend your legs out long and reach your arms up overhead. Have a big stretch. Cutting yourself nice and long. And then bring your arms down alongside you. For some of you, it may feel good to lie flat on the ground, stretch the tailbone, lengthen down, and you're ready for Shavasana. If this isn't comfortable, you could put your legs um, up on a couch or a chair, or maybe a pillow underneath the knees, or prop the head up. But find something that feels comfortable to you so that you can just lie here and relax. In Shavasana, dead man's pose for this last little bit of time. Let your eyes fall shut if that's comfortable or gaze down your nose or down toward the floor. And just listen to the chime. Drawing your attention to your forehead Notice if there's any tension there. Seeing if with your exhale, you could let some of that tension melt away. Noticing the space between your eyes, if there's tension there, see if you can let some of that tension melt away. Let your eyes rest into their sockets. Let your tongue relax into your throat. the shoulders melt down, making any adjustments you need to to feel completely comfortable, letting the pelvis get heavy, letting your feet fall open from the hips, maybe noticing where you feel the body pressing into the mat, into the floor, whatever you might be on. Noticing when the mind wanders, maybe just inviting it back to this inhale or this exhale. Or maybe it would like to focus on the sounds in the room that you might be hearing. Just experiencing your body and your mind as you lie here and rest completely in Shavasana.
take a deep breath in. A deep exhale. You can begin to wiggle your toes and fingers, maybe moving your head from side to side. Maybe it feels good to have a big stretch. And if you're on the floor, bring your knees in towards your chest when you're ready, rolling onto your side. Maybe using your arm as a pillow, just pausing for a moment. Let everything just kind of settle back in. And use your top hand to press yourself off the floor, coming up to a seated position. Let your hands come to heart center and let your head bow to your heart. Just take a moment here to pause, check in with yourself again and notice your internal weather system. What is it that you're experiencing mentally, emotionally, physically? Maybe acknowledging the intention that you set for yourself. Let your thumbs come to your brow, giving gratitude to yourself for taking this time to connect technologically and to connect through yoga with me, each other, and particularly with yourself to listening to you. Let your hands come to heart center. May you all be well. May all beings everywhere be well. And thank you for joining me today. I'll close with the word namaste, meaning the love and light in me honors and sees the love and light in you. Namaste. You are welcome to unmute if you would like to and tell me how that was for you. Good stretch. That feel good? 